First what of all, is the state of, you know, between the north and the south of California? What's going on? You know, I think that Southern California probably screwed this up with SOPA early on. Um, however, um, I don't think Northern California has been that great either. That California cannot figure out um, how to get the two groups in a room now. And again, we, we started the problem. And really um, figure out how we can deal with content and um, stop it from being stolen. If Google was in China and they were stealing their intellectual property, they would leave China, right? But if it's okay that our stuff gets stolen for free and they can't figure out as smart as they are at certain organizations to stop that. Now, that's not a logical argument. We just had today people fighting over patents and intellectual property. Well, I promise you Larry David or Aaron Sorkin or Marty Scorsese spends a great deal of time on their intellectual property. And we should be able to figure out in the state of California, which is one of our big exports is entertainment, how to figure this out together. And I think there's some pretty smart minds to do it if people want to do it. I don't think actually Northern California right now wants to do it. One day they're going to figure out that they're just big pipes and that they're going to need um, premium content. And when they figure that out, um, then they'll want to make a deal. Right now it's not to their benefit. So in 95 there was four networks and some people, and, con and distribution was the asset. In 2011, I mean, you, just let's take television. Talk about how many places you can get television from XFS, USA, history, you know, just, it just expanding. So the asset goes in 95 from distribution to now content creators. Well, this is just continuing. Now we have Netflix, who, I mean, you can just keep on seeing this thing going. Eventually, I think people are going to pay for not two cats on a couch doing whatever they're doing. They're going to pay a lot more money <laughs> Uh, for Aaron Sorkin. I think there's a series with that name. Yeah, I, all right. Yes, yes. Um, I think they're going to pay a lot more money for, you know, uh, you know, Seth MacFarlane or any of the people that are representing in Southern California. I'll bet most of the people, maybe all the people in this room, are willing to pay for the Aaron Sorkin stuff, the Seth right. MacFarlane stuff, what, right. whatever, whatever, your whole roster of clients. You just want it when you want it. We want, I want it when I, here's what, I want it when I want it. Right. I want it where I want it. Right on the device I want right. it, in the format I want right. it, and I don't want to have to buy it in a giant package from a cable company. If you could figure out that model with us and say, you know, because right now, um, I think it's, the, you know, the, the, from subs to advertising, it's about a hundred billion dollar um, infrastructure that's in Hollywood, in the television, you know, in, in that business. If we went a la carte, I think it drops to 40 billion. I don't know how to pay for all the things. And I will tell you, people in Northern California consume more great television. I mean, Mark Andreessen emails me everything he's ever seen <laughs> all the time. And, and any dinner party I go here, people watch more television than they do in any place else I know in, this, in, nor, in Northern California. To get what, you, room is, is to get, to get what you want takes money. Is this a fairly rich people. They can pay and they, and they will pay. But um, your projection that this hundred billion goes down to 40 billion, I mean, the, 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 the real issue isn't, isn't if, but it's when. This is going to happen. So somebody's got to figure out a way to fund it so that people like Aaron, who, who well, are listen, wonderful, wonderful, You have wonderful models now. Creators let, 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 Let's just talk about the model. So there's the Glenn Beck model, right? You know right. Glenn Beck, what he's yeah. doing, right? He has, I think it's 230 subscribers paying anywhere from 10... 30,000, right? 30,000. 230 would be... I, I, yeah, yeah. Paying be good from if any it was from 230. $10 to $100 in some form of... Subscription. Goes on, yeah, subscription basis. Right. That's his fan base. He goes on for a half hour, spews whatever he wants to spew. And, you know, he's making upwards, I've heard figures of $23 million to $40 million. That's a model. I don't think you get, I don't know what your favorite show is, Boardwalk Empire. Mad Men. I have to say Entourage. Right. I love right. Entourage. Um, you know, Homeland, you know, uh, um, Family Guy. Game you, of you, you don't get any of that doing that. Okay, you get a certain amount. 
because those things cost more. Do you have any, do you have a Roku box or an Apple TV? Apple TV. You have an Apple TV? Yeah, we have Roku. And do you watch that way? Uh, the kids watch that way, yeah. And you watch in a linear network I fashion. try to watch it. It's you want to or you just do it out of pain? Uh, uh, <laughs> I do like pain. I know. <laughs> you like to give it. I'm, I'm, I'm here, aren't I? Right? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really controlling myself from not swearing right oh, now. Oh, I want you to. <laughs> we don't care. I was saying last time I Fine interviewed Ari, it was in a room and he got in a fight with a guy in the I didn't row. actually get in a fight. The you guy kind of started approaching and I was ready to go. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just curious about this. You don't, it doesn't sound to me like you're personally sold on these alternative ways of watching. Do you no, ever no, no, watch, I'm completely. I'm, you watch TV shows on an iPad ever? I, or I, you personally? I, well, I watch a ton of television on an iPad and I watch a ton of television, period. I DVR a ton of television because I have For your job and yes. everything. Uh, but I, but mean, I love television. Um, but would you consider enjoying a TV show on an iPad or is just, you're just not? I do it now. Okay. But, and then in making these shows, you say they're fine. Do you consider it a small part of your business or that? No, it's a, it's a growing part of our business. We, you know, we have to, um, there's no way, because who knows what's going to happen. So we, we have to be ahead of the game there. We, we've had a conversation with, with um, YouTube about Tyler Perry. I mean, there's no place Tyler that we, Perry. yeah, we, there's no conversation that we don't have because it's a place for one of our clients to have kind of get their artistic endeavors out. My only thing is, everyone I know who is not in either of these industries right. hates their cable company, right. thinks their bill is too but high. But cord cutting's not happening. Huh? Cord cutting is not happening. But cord never is happening. Kids, and what I say well, kids, I, know I that, mean people I know as old as 30 right. are just not getting, you know, the, they would die without an internet subscription. And they may get that from the cable company. Right. But that's an internet subscription. In terms of the TV piece of the, or the other two pieces of the triple play, they're completely uninterested in that. Yeah. Do you, does that bother you at all? No. What's your Because I do, I What's do, your I do think at a certain point people? in time when people get to a certain age, it's not how they will, re I, maybe I'm being naive here, it's not how they will handle themselves as it relates to stealing stuff and taking stuff and not paying. I don't believe They're not necessarily stealing stuff. They may just be watching it on Netflix. I, I, I'm okay if they're watching it on Netflix, as long as we figure out the right economics. Because eventually, if the right economics don't exist, you don't get it. So therefore, somebody's going to have to pay for it. Either Procter & Gamble's going to have to pay for it, or you're going to have to pay I get for it. it. Such I totally that, and that's going to have to happen. Or you're not going to have premium content. And I believe premium content is more valuable than two dogs doing whatever they do on a couch. All, I, I understand. It was cats before. <laughs> but. Yeah. What are dogs doing on your YouTube? I, I have to tell My you. My sons show me a lot of dogs and cats. Really? Okay. Yeah. Can I just tell you something, though? If you look at what you called unscripted TV yeah. on these cable channels, right. it's really not too different from those two dogs and two cats right. on YouTube. <laughs> for instance, I did, for some reason I didn't watch Friday Night Lights when, I, when, it, was, when it was on. Right. I, you know, sometimes you just don't get into a show or you just miss, and then you figure, oh, I can't start now because I right. missed all this other stuff. So we just, we just went on our, the, yeah, the Apple TV box, right. my wife and I, for about a month, I think, and we watched the... Now, I want to ask you a question because this is actually important to me. So the show got, we did the movie, we then did the show, right? And I was involved in that because I represent Buzz Bissinger and I represent Pete right. Burke and I represented Imagine. So you represented everybody? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and so now the series, did, did you like the series? Loved it. Yeah. Now, I would it you be okay if we did good. a movie now? Do I what? Would, if we now went back to a movie, would you be okay with that? You would mean, they, would they, they go back to the Philly? Sure. So that's coming. So how is that? Well, that's that good, but, no, but I'm I was, trying to plug it right But now. I was going to make another point to you. The question I have is, so could I, I raise money that's how he's doing through it. a different means of distribution? So explain what you're doing. I, I, I get doing, it. Actually, but, no, no. He's doing something else with this movie. I, I know. Okay, so I now tell me about finally, I now finally, actually, when I was at Cheryl's house, I that's actually right. talked about it. I finally got the script. Okay. So we now have a script. Uh, of Friday Night Lights, that we went from movie to series, and now this, now we're going to go hopefully with the, go. with the people who are on the TV series. Correct. Good. And now I want to figure out a different means to raise money for this project, and right. then do a different. So explain the different means, because you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could go the traditional route, put cast together, do a budget, go back and have a conversation with the studio, or I could go back to the studio and say, 
I have the X amount of money because there's, I think there was approximately a million and a half fans on Facebook. I might be wrong. And they wanted to finance it or some other means wanted so to finance it. So $10 from each Facebook fan. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that. And what do I right. get for that? I have a, well, we could probably start out on Pinterest where we put up the, um, the storyboards and you could see the storyboards. You might be able to see the script. Um, I've started actually noodling I a creative a I think a way for idea. people to kind of get vested in the project. Um, and then you could comment on what you want. We could talk about the casting. Maybe we give the people that finance it the script to read and we hear their comments about it because they're fans of the show and the fans of the movie. You know, I was thinking about how to, how to do it I, differently. I, and I, that was I, a movie on a budget that we might be able to raise the money. The budget would be... How much, how much money do you need for that? Yeah, what do you think the budget... You got a check? No, not okay. me, but several uh, people here do. A lot of people here. Uh, oh, you could raise the budget. About, we haven't budgeted. Approximately about... I, want, I think it should be done for about $15 million. $15 million. So if you had 1 million Facebook fans, you asked them each for $20. You've got... If you could get... That's you're not going to get all of them. If you could get all of them. Right. That would be good. What other ways do you see going the VC route? No. Because? I see, you know, the other way is I go internationally, I go raise a bunch of money, I sell it based on that I think it's a art movie but has sequel potential. I mean, I have a whole scheme to it. Okay. But, I can't, can't, but the can't. Facebook way is the way you think you could do I it? I would like, actually, I would like to figure out if we could do that. Change kind of a lot of different paradigms there. It would be I, interesting. I think it would be interesting. Successful. Yeah. yeah. So you, you are trying to get ahead of some of these. Well, I'm things. still going to go the traditional route of distribution, marketing. A movie like that's going to take $25 million to market, right, to get the word out, oh. right? It, that's, I'm, I'm probably light on the number. Um, I was going to ask you, this is fascinating, and I'm very glad you talked about it. I'd take it. a check if you want to give me a But that's OK. Yeah. But I, well, I might. You know, you never know. I really did you love You should ask Larry Ellison. I, I did love the series. Fan. Maybe he has a big check. Maybe. Or his yeah. son. <laughs> But he stopped using Facebook recently. No, he did. He met enough while people. We were, while we were watching all the seasons of Friday Night Lights, yeah. we were not watching whatever was on those nights. Right. I mean, we were T-bowing a few things, but by and large... How did you find out that you liked Friday Night Lights? How, who told you that you should be watching? Just a friend. Right. Some friends had told us, or we right. had read about it over the years, and we, start, we watched one or two episodes, and we decided we really liked it. What's so your other favorite show? For it. What are our other favorite TV... Well, I mean, we love Mad Men. Right. It's a great show. It's gotten better. Uh, it's gotten better. It's even better than when it started. You know, Modern Family is right. an awesome show. I mean, I think there are uh, Breaking Bad. I mean, there are sensational shows on television right now. What companies do you think are important digitally to Hollywood right now? Around, if you had to name two or three. Well, I think companies. Google's important. I mean, you know, I think uh, because Verizon and because of what we first started having a conversation, and Verizon and AT and T are important. Um, I think uh, Twitter, Facebook, I think depending on what Microsoft does with the Nook um, and Amazon, you know, that's the normal, and, and of course Apple, right? But for me, where Google decides to play in this, in this piracy issue and AT&T and Verizon decide to play it is a very crucial issue for our economics. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with the pricing on songs in Apple, but they made a deal. The music business made a deal. It's very good for the, for the hardware, not great for the artists, but the deal has been made, right, um, in Apple. Um, and the economics in Apple I exists and you know, you can negotiate a deal and it's tough. And when other people come into play, there'll be leverage in that situation. If they don't stop the stealing of content, and, you know, I think it's a problem. I do think in the long They being Google, Google Verizon, AT&T. They, they have the ability to kind of have this conversation. Why Verizon, AT&T? Because, because of they, their... Because they, you know, a lot of stuff goes through their pipes, too. I got it. I want to circle back to the AT&T, Verizon, Google thing. Uh, you want them to filter yeah. or identify, hold on. So I just want to understand what you're saying. You're basically saying somebody robbed my house and they drove a car down a road to get to my house. So you have to do something about the road or something about the car. That's is a stupid it, example, but that's okay. Is it? <laughs> yeah, that's really, that, that, that's, exactly, really that's a exactly really good example. It's exactly what you're describing. Right. I mean, how, how is it AT&T, Verizon, and Google's responsibility <laughs> to keep your stuff safe? I mean, they're, they're not policemen. 
They don't police things. They just have. No, pipe. they decide call, when they want to police stuff and when they, they were... don't want to police. So when it, and, and I appreciate this, when people are looking at and I don't mean to say you know, uh, uh, child pornography, they can they can actually filter that. They stop those people. For, they they actually do do that because that's not right, right? That's a bad thing. Okay, that's a and they do filter that now. You know that, right? They filter that, correct? I I don't know. Yes, all they the, do. I okay, so I want to question. Why is that, should is that they? Right? That's they a, do. Why sh they do? Well, so why should they be able to do that? Which I agree with. I completely agree with. Oh, wait, wait, they, now they, you're going to say is stealing Larry David's show the same as child, child pornography? pornography on the you know internet. something. I don't. You know something? Stealing is a bad thing, and child pornography is a bad I thing. I agree. We're okay, in agreement great. on that. Thank you. We're in agreement on that. Thank you. But 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 what we're not in agreement on is, is I love this. Here he comes. You can't tear up the road so people can't get you, to your house. You know something? You need to sit down. That's a bad example. Okay? Does, That's a bad example. I, do you guys think it's a bad example? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go sit down, and then think of something else, and come back up, and I'll scream at you again. Okay. Well, hey. <laughs> Um, the music industry was sort of crushed by piracy in the late 90s, and it took, uh, Apple. you know, Steve Jobs came along and said, look, people want to be honest, and, and if you give them a product that's a, a fair value, they'll, they'll buy songs, and that's, it's worked out pretty well. Um, earlier it still today, crushed we, the music business, though. Yeah, it crushed the music business, but... It, I mean, the album business, the singles are fine, but if you talk to any record label, it's a very tough business still. Right, but, and, and so... They came in and gave the customers what they wanted. They didn't beat the pirates. And we had the, the Spotify guys up here today saying, No, I'm not sure about that. I think they piracy. actually did the following. They did what was good, and I take my hat off to them. You know, they did a great job selling products from Apple with content loaded in for a price. The, the stupidity in the music business was. You know, a, a person that was up here that had Napster, if they would have not killed Napster and made a deal with Napster and not broken the glass and shattered it, you would have had a better economics. They didn't see it at the time, the music business. And then Steve came around and made a deal and paid 99 cents for, it, for a song, sold a lot of hand, sold a lot of physical products. iPods, yeah. iPods. And, but, and now so, that product that you're talking about is called Spotify, right? And what I'm saying is if they would have made if they would have made the, the first deal. It would have been a better deal. It would have been a better deal. Right. So right. why isn't the TV industry seeing that writing on the wall? That's coming for TV. Listen, nobody said any of us down south are geniuses. <laughs> you know. is that, I mean, well, you said, you said the, the TV industry, you thought it was a really good industry. That trough is going to empty at some point. So why not make the deals now? Because the pirates are coming. Where's the deal to make? Where's the deal to why make that when you get, it costs, let's just say an episode of television costs, you know, a movie that a Transformers costs a lot of money. A television costs approximately per episode, I, let's just say three million dollars, two and a half million dollars per episode. So where's that deal? You have to. Where, price, where's the deal? You have to price to the market. So why can't I get Spotify for TV? Why can't I get Watch ESPN for every network? I'm why just can't telling you. You give me the economics that can make that happen on an episodic basis, because you still like that show, Game of Thrones, and yeah. that's you know costs more than that. And you can't find it. You can't, you can't deliver that business to me that kind of make that product. There's no subscription fee that you could imagine. You can't get there for pay it. That would, that would raise I don't that think money. so. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no, but I'm just saying that's what you're saying. Yeah. You can't, or you download can't fee or something price. like that. It becomes what? You can't control the market price. You can't say, here's the no, price. No, but then you don't get you the product because you can't produce the product for what you're going to pay. Right, that's the point. That's what's going to happen to the TV industry, is that at some point in the next Actually, 20 years. Actually, the TV industry is growing. It's not contracting. You're wrong right now. Right now, yes. But in 20 years, the reason that piracy hasn't picked up in TV is because it's really easy 70. to share a song I'm and good. not easy 70, to share. You, you, I'll, be, I'm 70, I'll be 71. I'm good. No, he's good. <laughs> okay, next. next. So, I mean, I don't mean, you know, I, I, I appreciate it. I don't know the answer to your question. 